What's up, y'all? Matthew Egan here. Online, I go by Trainer Toll. SEO, search engine optimization, the ability to rank a thing on the internet, right? Be it your business website or a YouTube video, which is what we tend to focus on the most. Uh, today, we have an excellent question. Let's dive into them. If this is your first time joining us, do hit that like and subscribe button, ring that bell so you never miss any of our SEO tips. Stephanie, please, she very quickly has become one of my favorite streamers, amazing person. If you don't follow her on Twitter, you absolutely should. Uh, she sent in this great question today asking about kind of using SEO for good and making sure that you're not over-optimizing. Let's dive into her question. Hey, Tal. So my question today is about using SEO for good, but like a powerful good. Um, I see a lot of people talk about SEO and they just are talking about putting as many keywords in as you can. And honestly, I see a lot of backlash to that idea from viewers who are like, I didn't come here to watch this specific thing, but the keywords and title led me here. And I would really like to avoid frustrating my viewers and getting people annoyed with me for um, leading them to something that really isn't relevant to their interests. So if you kind of have some tips on how to make sure you're not going overboard with SEO, I would absolutely love to hear that. Thank you for doing this video, and I really look forward to seeing what you have to say. That is a that is a very very good question. This is this is tough. Um, when when you have this this is for for YouTube and for websites, but when you have two results that come up on Google or in the YouTube search and any search engine really, um, if somebody clicks on this top result, and if let's say that the keywords that were on this video don't really apply to the actual contents of the video, right? Or let's say it takes too long to get to the point. Sometimes when I'm making a game guide, I'll do my TLDR in the first minute that kind of talks about different things, and then I'll go through the specifics of it. That way the person really knows that this is what we're talking about, this is what we're focusing on, so that they stay. And then if, if, I do, if, if you don't do that, all right, if this result is you know, it says it's about one quest and it's about something completely different or it's just talking or whatever, then that person leaves and they go to this second video and they watch the whole thing in that micro exchange. And again, thousands and thousands and millions of these happen every day on every video, right? Of somebody choosing this video over this video or somebody choosing this video over that video. Where somebody stays based on what they search influences that that click-through rate and that exit percentage influences whether or not somebody stays on on that video and whether or not then google or, or youtube says you know what this is actually the better video for that search term right and so it can be tempting to put keywords on your videos or keywords in your title that you know are broad keywords that are going to attract people but if they're so broad that that's not exactly what somebody was looking for that's why I like really specific keywords. So that, that way when somebody comes to my video that is answering only that one question, that's where the attention is going to happen. So the exit percentage, we focus so much on, on how many views did we get, right? And it's like, I got all these views and views are, are super important. But the more important uh, number in there is the percentage of watch time and the exit percentage, right? So how many minutes, if your video is 10 minutes long, did people stay for two minutes? Did they stay for seven? You know, like where in the spectrum did people leave? And I've heard it referred to as this hockey puck, where if people come onto your video and they immediately leave, then your click-through rate and your exit percentage is bad, right? And so this is where, okay, you told me to upload onto YouTube, but now you want me to be good at what I upload on YouTube? That's, now you're just asking too much, but that's, this is the problem, right? Is that uh, you, you have to be so specific in your titles and make sure that your titles are speaking to exactly what you're doing in the video. Make sure that your thumbnail is speaking to exactly what you're doing in the video so that when you get that search user that comes on and they see it, they don't go, oh, this is one I want and they leave, right? It's that, that, that deceptive you know, keyword stuffing that, that you want to avoid. Right, because then if people are exiting off of your videos, then that's sending a signal to YouTube that your content isn't what it says it is and you're not gonna pop up in search. Does that make sense? Hopefully this gives you some better ideas on how to improve the keywords on your videos. If you found this video helpful, do hit that like and subscribe button, ring that bell so you never miss any of my SEO tips. And thank you, Stephanie, please, 
for contributing this question. Fantastic questions. This is the end of week one. Five videos in five days. We'll see you next time.